What up, what up, world? It's Decent back with another Pop Dust exclusive, and my guest at this time just released his project last month, Orification. I know that may not be a word, but it's a word today because this project is so fire, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Jackie Spade. Yo, what's gang, gang, gang. What what's going on, brother? What's good, man? Appreciate it. Bro, project is fire. Appreciate that. It really, really it is. Man. First joint that I played, I was like, yo, you yeah. wanted something in. I'm more familiar with you, for those who may not be familiar with you, from Cypher you did a few years ago for BET. Yeah. Um, but to see you as an artist, because this is like, what, maybe your third project? Yeah, I want to say about three. Yeah. You know, so I did Chief Bass and Heartbreaks, then I did Eclectic, and then I did... Mm -hmm. yeah. So you've been working, man. Yeah. You've definitely been working, yeah. and it's great to see that all that hard work has kind of you know manifested itself in this project because I feel like it's the most complete you've sounded as an as an artist thus far. So tell us the meaning behind the title orification. When I think of myself, I think of myself as like a, a presence. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? When I walk into a room, you can feel you can feel what mood I am, or the energy I'm giving off at that time. You right, know right, right. I wanted people to see my aura. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Orification in the form of personification, you know what I'm saying? I don't look at myself as just a person, I'm more than a person. Right, right, right. I'm an artist, I'm a son, and all that, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be a father one day, no kid shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to basically, you know, say I'm more than a person. I'm, a, I'm an energy, my presence is a presence, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's more than just seeing you, it's experiencing you as a person. Exactly, exactly. So you're from North Carolina, right? Yeah, Kansas, North Carolina. So. Very interesting enough, I feel like North Carolina, you know, has been a hotbed for hip hop and it's a very, very unique location in a sense because it's, you know, on the East Coast but it's still down south and I feel like in the sound, you know, you kind of get that fusion because it's more so very, very laid back, very, very, you know, slowed down, but it has the wittiness of, you know, a lot of East Coast rappers. What makes North Carolina so unique and makes it stand out from other regions in the South as far as your sound goes? It's more versatile because, you know, we're only eight hours from New York. We're like six hours from Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? So, we're not that far from Maryland, D.C. So we can get pretty much everything. A lot of artists from everywhere come through North Carolina for stuff. Like, it's a big circuit for music through North Carolina, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? A lot of stuff going on in North Carolina, like shows, concerts, all that stuff. Like, North Carolina is like the really next wave, like you know what I'm saying. We, I feel like we the wave, the new wave now is like about to really blossom. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. And speaking of which, um, another prominent North Carolina entity here yeah, hooked up with Big Pooh. Big Pooh, yeah, yeah. From yeah. Little Brother, we actually had him here a few months ago. True. Shout true. out to Big Pooh. Shout um, out to Big Pooh, common sense. Yeah. So what's it like, you know, being under the tutelage of somebody like a Big Pooh from coming from you know, North Carolina, but on top of that, you know, being a legend in the game, having, you know, this unique sound all onto itself, be it a solo artist, or with, you know, little brother, what's it like kind of being next to him? Are you soaking up a lot of game? Are you getting, you know, a lot of tips? And what are you learning from him that you could hopefully do better as your own artist? Most of our conversations been over like, you know what I'm saying, the phone and stuff like that. So, you know, so I haven't really had a chance to sit down and politic with him. But just being him being able to like give me a little bit of guidance, the guidance that he have been giving me, you know what I'm saying, him and dope, mm -hmm. like it's like a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Just a blessing itself being connected to the you know, they legends, little brother, you know what I'm saying? In North Carolina, they big, like, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying, in North Carolina but for what they done for us, you know what I'm saying? So it's really a blessing. I definitely would sit down and talk to you, know, Pooh. Dope, dope. So let's take it back a little bit. What inspired you to get into music, you know? What, what was the first moment that you went, yo, this is something that I want to do for the rest of my life? Started off, uh, me getting to it was a joke. I made it with my cousin, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, yo, um, I feel like I need to rap. I feel like I want to rap. I can make some money off of it. Just like saying, I wasn't even thinking I was going to really do it, you know what I'm saying? But he looked at me with a serious look, like, yo, you can do it, man. Like, I believe in you. And I was like, uh, you know, <laughs> I was like, now, now, yeah, 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 now I gotta try to see what's up. So he, uh, I actually just started writing, and I came up with a, I came up with my alias. You know what I'm saying, Jackie Spade, because I wanted everybody's honest, honest opinion on the music. You know what I'm saying. So when I dropped my first song, I didn't drop it as who I am. I was like, yo, I just got this dude right here. Just listen to this dude. You know what I'm saying. 
and people feedback was positive, so that's when I started like, yeah, that's it's me. a surprise. Yeah, that's me, me but, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? So then it just started picking up from there. And it's like, been there ever since. Like, that's awesome, and the way that you went about, you know, getting feedback from people, I feel like that's a very, very honest way of kind of doing it, even though it's kind of a little bit deceptive, because as artists, we tend to be a little bit sensitive about our stuff. Yeah. And, you know, I guess that was like kind of the gauge of whether or not you could really, really do this, because you had somebody already saying it, but if everybody thought your shit wasn't hitting, then it's like, yeah, what's the point of trying to... And then once I started rapping, also, it was like, I was in college, and I was in the Army as well, you know what I'm saying? So. It was like, once I knew I was really like, okay, I dropped my first like little project or whatever, and I was like passing it around. And then it got like around to my unit or whatever, and it was like, you know, somebody said a rumor like I was gonna quit the army, go do this and that, move to Atlanta and promote my music. I never said any of that, you know what I'm saying? I never said any of that, and I was getting phone calls, and I got this one phone call from this sergeant, he was like a DJ, he said he'd been like a DJ for like 30 years. And he was like, you're not going, he was like, man, don't do that, you know, you're not going to make it, bro. Like, he just straight up never listened to him, you know what I'm saying? He just straight up told him, like, yo, I know a lot of cats who go down there and they don't, they don't make it, man. You're not going, you're not going to make it, bro. Like, don't do this. This is your best bet right here. And I was like, bro, I wasn't even saying none of this. Like, bro, that's, for one, that's, that's, that's why you coming at me, for one. You know what I'm saying? But after that, I quit the army, I dropped out of college. I was like, I got to do this now. I gotta keep pushing. So much for be all you can be, right? <laughs> you feel me? Like, they don't want you to be all you can be, right? <laughs> be all you can be as long as they tell you how to be. Exactly. Do you feel like you have this sort of relatability that can span across different aspects of life and different walks of life when it comes to people? Yeah, because I've been, I haven't been like, done it all. I've been, had a job where I was teaching like foreign students. You know, mm -hmm. like China, bro. It's like, wildly, I don't know how I ended up with that job. <laughs> But being in the army, you know what I'm saying, just doing like, I work for nonprofits, but I done done some, I done touched all types of people and had mm -hmm. all types of relationships, different types of people from different walks of life, you know what I'm saying? So I try to, that's why you don't hear me like, be like, yeah, I just do rap. Like, yeah. you listen to my music, it's like, something for everybody, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Something for everybody. And it's real too, and when, you know, it comes from the heart and you're being authentic. You know, people sense authenticity, so even if it may not be music that's for them, mm -hmm. they hear it and they can connect with the person and feel like, you know, this may not be my cup of tea, but I feel like he's really, really trying to bring something. And I feel like that's what we get when we listen to orification. It's, yeah. it's a personification, like you said, of who you are as, you know, a person, an artist, an entity, and an energy. We need a lot, we need a lot of that in hip hop right now, music in general. Preach, preach, I agree, bro, I agree. What's your expectations now that the, the project is out? Are we looking for more shows, more visuals, or we do we got more music on the way, more collaborations? What's what's up in the works for Jackie Spade? I don't like expectations, you know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just working every day, you know what I'm saying? We meet who we meet, we connect with who we connect with, you know what I'm saying? Just know we always bring new material, we always gonna give you those vibes and we're always gonna we're gonna come through. You feel me? Jackie Spade is always bringing that work and bring it. So don't have no expectations, just know I'm bringing that work. You know what I'm saying? Hey. And there you have it. <laughs> Jackie, thank you for stopping by. Man, where can people find you at on social media? At Jackie Spade underscore on Instagram and Twitter. Follow my uh, my website, officialjackiespade.com. Bang, bang. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Spade, Orification is out now on all social media platforms or downloading streaming platforms. Sorry about that. But I'm decent. There's been another Pop Desk exclusive. Make sure you follow us on all social media at Pop Desk. Make sure you visit our website at popdesk.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube. Do us a little favor. Click the little bell to be notified of brand new content. And we will see you soon. Peace. Yeah.